Hey Pisces, welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is my second reading today. I wasn't planning on doing this, but I've been wandering around having a lovely day out for a walk and it really hit me as these things do that um, doing some short readings about some of the repeating signs and symbols and synchronicities that are coming up through these readings um, would be interesting to get a bit of perspective on what might be going on. Um, I did think about setting them up, up as memberships, and I think I put a notice out about that, but actually I want to share these with everybody. Um, so I'm going to start with a moth because we've had a moth coming through in three different, no, two different readings or three times in one reading. If I, if I can find them, I'll link the actual readings below. And uh, I will do one about bees because bees keep coming up and definitely about keys as well. But those will come out over the next day or two. I'm just going to focus on the moth. The moth is in this particular deck um, very much about self-worth, about the truth, about auth authenticity. And there is an invitation in this energy to say you're ready to take off the masks you wear in society to please others or to kind of manipulate the energy of how other people might perceive you, which we all do, um, and let go of the control of needing to worry about what other people think. And this is very liberating. It's certainly something I know I've been going through a lot recently. Um, and I'm not hugely involved in what other people think, but there are certain things like doing energy work where people's opinions doing something different particularly with this Pisces energy where you're all kind of going through a transition or a lot of you seem to be going through a huge transition um, having the having the bravery to put yourself out in a different way is a big thing I mean hats off to all of you who want to do this um, so follow your truth and let that be your north star that is what the moth is here to say so we're just going to explore this these are going to be quite short readings I've only got one tarot deck I've also got some affirmations which I thought would be lovely to use and um, let's see what the moth has to say so we have got vibration wow you're raising your vibrations pisces big time we have got modify yeah modify let's put my glasses on there white on uh that blue it's hard to see and unconditional love what a set of cards um, I'm going to put them in that order. You're modifying your vibration into the energy of unconditional love. And this is something that is naturally happening. It's a natural occurrence that is going on for you, Pisces. And the moth is here to say it's almost like you're vibrating off your um, personas that you have had to put on to not be true to yourself. And as you become more and more in tune with your frequency, your own real authenticity, um, then the uh the energy is saying that you're this i'm just noticing this is going out in and out of focus so you're bringing into focus really the truth of who you are um sorry this is slightly annoying but for me it's fascinating as a reader <laughs> okay yellow rose we had a lot of roses this morning enthusiasm and friendship a single rose may be my garden a single friend my world you might be going through big shifts in your friendship group spices you might be experiencing um leveling up of people who are really true and authentic and feel like they are important and keen to be around you and as you become more and more true to yourself those relationships situationships friendships um collaboration groups that were founded on you turning up in an energy that you kind of felt you had to put on in order to please these people or fit in with these people. It just doesn't, you just, I'm going to say you can't even be bothered to do that anymore. And so I think there's a big shift going on, but the really, really important people will love your enthusiasm. Um, there'll be a moth to your flame. It's like you're being a moth to your own flame in this energy. It's so lovely. Okay, true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers. And we have got here, I choose love no matter what. That is actually the message. Interesting. That's quite a, it's quite a, it almost looks like the back of the card. It's like, I feel like you've had to turn yourself over a few times, um, go through iterations, go through cycles quite quickly. Um, 
versions of yourself have perhaps come and gone and come and gone quite a lot in the last short while weeks months maybe but not years maybe years as well but it feels like you're um I wouldn't say reinventing yourself you kind of think you've got so far and then suddenly you find a new depth and then suddenly you find another new depth and then you as you go through that process you realize that the people around you are not vibing quite the right way but then new people come in um okay and then we have got that one's come flying out balance I'm getting perspective as a word that's coming through as well. And three of these, balance, worry, and intuition. Okay, that's the root of why I needed to do these readings. I think you're a little bit worried um, about being true to yourself. There's a vulnerability about being really honest and upfront about your authentic truth. Um, but it, you're bringing yourself into balance and um, that makes you even more aware of the people who are out of balance. Um, and you might have started things with someone or um, I'm going to give you an example. I, I uh, started a collaboration with somebody a, a few weeks ago and it quickly became apparent that their energy just wasn't right. There was something wrong, but they they weren't able to express that to me. And in the end, it was just it, things just kind of fell apart, but without real re any real understanding. But intuitively, I kind of knew and then I started to worry about it. And I'm just like, why am I worried about something that I don't really understand and it's taking me out of balance? I need to give myself permission to move beyond that. So that might resonate with some of you. And choose love. And sometimes the the, the real love is to actually withdraw and just say if there's something wrong and it's not being it's not able to be expressed, then actually being in unconditional love sometimes might mean actually kind of moving beyond moving beyond that situation here we've got modify as you modify your vibration you're going to worry about it because the version of yourself isn't necessarily the version of um uh the person that you recognize so there's a there's a there's a there's a real self awakening for you pisces that's coming on in this energy okay so we're just going to get an angel dog's tarot spread uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, I have a second channel, which is called The Angel Dogs, where I um, channel uh, messages from pets um, in spirit. And I'm an animal communicator, so pets have got a huge amount of knowledge to share with us. But this particular spread is from my own card deck. So in the middle, we have the main energy. Here we have the foundational kind of like material energy, emotional energy, spiritual energy. And this is what your mind is saying. And this is what your intuition is saying. I love the fact that we've got intuition here. So your mind wants to come into balance with your intuition. OK, so with this worry and this vibration and this um, mask taking off with this moth energy, we've got the Hierophant. Pisces, I think that you are really about to embody a, a spiritual teacher energy. There's this collective that is joining these readings is very, very aligned with their energy or they're coming into alignment with their energy. But every time you come into alignment, there's another level of de deepness. It kind of never stops. But I think you're really interested in teaching and or teaching what you know. And that can be just to one person. It could be to many people. It could be courses. It could be blogs. It could be podcasts. It could be books. Um, it could be any manner of just or just even in your normal workplace, just working and talking in a different way. So you're worried about teaching of about energy. Um, and yet here you are. You're a guru. You're a master. Um, you might want to shake the foundations of the traditions of how things are done, wherever you are, wherever you work, whatever you do. Foundational energy. We've got on your mind side, we've got the star and we've got on the intuition side, the moon. Wow. Pisces, your mind says you're ready to elevate yourself. You're ready to um, embrace spirituality. You're ready to embrace a position where you're going to elevate yourself. That's kind of in your material world. There's something that you need to do that is going to shine your light higher than it currently is at the moment. And on your intuition side, it's something you've probably known for a long period of time that is innately in you and that requires you to strip back to the real bare basics of who you are inside 
Um, and that has been a lot of work. And with the moon energy can come fears, but they can also become the real mysteries of who you are and helping other people to get there. At the emotional level, we have got the Ten of Wands and the Death Rebirth. Birth. So your mind is saying, emotionally, I have to lay down the burdens of worry. <laughs> um, so I, uh, you might have a lot of emotional baggage that doesn't belong to you. It's other people's emotional baggage. Your mind is stressing and looping about that. Um, your mind is saying, um, oh, I've got to keep going. I've got to keep going, but I'm feeling like it's hard work. Um, it's hard work taking off your mask and then dealing with people's reactions. But your intuition is saying, nah, uh, <laughs> Pisces, we're going through a we're going through a death rebirth process. We're going through a fundamental transformation emotionally. We know it emotionally. We know it because we're going into the depths of understanding who we are at a, at a feeling level, at an emotional level, at an intuitive level, at a spiritual level. This is deep, deep, deep stuff, Pisces. Um, and so your mind is like, I need to raise the star and I need to let go of the fear of doing that. And at a spiritual level, lovely, we've got the judgment and your mind is saying four of swords. This four of swords is saying you've been on your own for quite some time and you might be worried about being on your own longer <laughs> when you um, come out in adverted commas as a spiritual guru. Um, uh, it's like you're exposing your vulnerability. You're exposing your truth, right? Exposing your truth is a big deal, <laughs> First of all, we have to expose it to ourselves. We have to find it and we have to want to find it. Um, and the amazing thing is that that's a, that's a journey that you've chosen to be here in these readings. You would be you're on that quest to find who you really are inside, not who you think you need to be in order to please other people. So you've probably been in um, uh, solitude for quite a period of time, maybe just finding self-love, maybe recovering from carrying other people's burdens. And here your intuition is going... Da -da -da -da! we're nearly ready yeah, it's like your awakening self-realization here's your choices um so that self-recovery period is actually your chance for your mind to quieten and your intuition your your soul to become the um like the stronger power so it's like the force of your mind is diminishing as the power of your intuition is increasing. And your mind is going, oh, who am I going to be on the other side of this? And your intuition is going to say, you're going to be a moth to a flame. You're going to be a star. You're going to be the most incredible friend to anyone who needs or wants the kind of friendship that you're going to offer. And that friendship will be from a place of unconditional love, high vibrational, beautiful energy, helping other people with this hierophant to modify their vibrations and who they are um, and find their path to love. What a beautiful reading, Pisces. You're an absolute superstar. So that is why the moth has been coming up in the readings. It's just to ask you not to worry as you take off the mask and you really go into the authenticity of who you are. Um, yes, there will be some transitional shifting around relationships, um, but the true people will be here. The roses, the roses came out this morning. It was a beautiful new start energy this morning with the reading with lots of roses in it. And here you're bringing yourself into balance. And if other people aren't in balance, then they can't see that, but they'll feel it and they'll experience it and they'll be watching. They'll be going, mm, intuitively, I know that there's something going on in here that is really good for me. Um, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch and learn. OK, so we're just going to finish off with some affirmations for you, Pisces, from the moth, moth spirit energy. Some affirmations for Pisces, please. One and two. I think there is actually one there and one there. I don't know where that one's going, but we'll figure it out. And we have got here. Whatever you are, be a good one. That's, that's a bit of a tongue twister, but actually when you stop and think about it, that's a really lovely message. Um, whoever you're turning into, which is your authenticity, it will be amazing. Don't let what you can't do stop you from doing what you can do. So that is the worry. That is the fear of what other people might think, but it's it's happening anyway. Attract what you want by being who you want. That's the moth to the flame. And we have got life isn't about finding yourself. Life is about creating yourself. And we have got here, finally, take the road less travelled and you'll find joy. That's what this is all about. And it's worrying, it's hard. But the road less travelled is to shift your vibration, to, to move towards love. And then, 
at the center of your energy, you are becoming a guru, you're becoming an expert, you're on that path, whether whether you feel like it at the moment or not, your intuition is driving you and guiding you and and um, making things happen <laughs> probably on your behalf. Um, your mind is saying, oh, I've got I've to gotta, gotta reinvent how I carry around burdens and fears, um, but it's happening. And the moth spirit energy is here to say, I'm actually just going to take the guidebook for this particular, I'm just going to hold it up so you can take a screenshot if that will come into focus. Oh, come on, Cameron, there we go. So if you want to read that from um, start to finish, you can just press pause or click take a screenshot. Um, but this is uh, the moth is appearing to say you're taking off the mask, Percy. You're really, really discovering who you are, and that is so attractive—a moth to a flame. And you're being a, almost like a moth to the flame of your own inner truth. So things are shifting for you big time. Your vibration is on the up. How amazing! Uh, I really hope that helps. We understand why the moth kept on coming up. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. Bye.